San Diego City Council has approved plans to install interactive kiosks downtown designed to help visitors and residents navigate the city. And the plan is to use state-of-the-art wayfinding technology so pedestrians can more easily find businesses and just get around. Fox 5's Misha DeBono is downtown in San Diego with more details. Yeah, the plan is to have 50 of these kiosks in and around San Diego. Um, all over the city, the company that makes them, they say that uh, the city could make millions in revenue once they're installed. You scan it with your phone and get this information on the go. The San Diego City Council approved plans to install interactive kiosks throughout downtown San Diego designed to help visitors and residents navigate the city. It's called Ike Smart City, short for interactive kiosk experience. People can, if they're visiting from San Di uh, outside of San Diego and or residents can access information just at the touch of a fingertip. It's a dual sided large touch screen and you can discover everything from shops to hotels, to businesses, restaurants, parks, events, buses, trolley routes, and using your smartphone, you can get navigation sent straight to your phone and be on your way. Also be able to look for uh, a lot of public benefits. So is there a local shelter nearby? How do you interact with the city? Where is, uh, where can you pay a parking ticket? Under the agreement, Ike will incur all the startup costs, construction, maintenance, and cleaning during the first 10 years and estimates that San Diego will get back roughly 25 million annually in advertising dollars. The Ike kiosks are already in 15 other cities. We negotiated that these kiosks will have a call button so that at any point in time if someone needed assistance that 24 hours a day seven days a week the downtown clean and safe team will be able to respond and interact with that person. The city still needs to approve the location but once it's done Ike has three years to install the first 50 kiosks with San Diego expecting to start seeing revenue in 2025. Obviously with Ike picking up the cost of operations, maintaining and um, uh, cleaning these kiosks. There's no cost to the city. So the upfront cost to the provider is heavy on the front 10 years. And if it is um, successful and we opt to renew for the additional five years, uh, there is additional revenue that comes in more freely years 11 through 15. For tourists and locals, this is a new way to discover all the great things San Diego has to offer within a few blocks of where you literally are standing. And for businesses that are having a hard time getting noticed, it's a win for them too. Not only find a place to eat, have a you know cocktail or you know go shop, but finding something new about the city, something unique or something that only really locals would otherwise be able to find. Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News.